So we're wiring the Haltech into this 1UZ. And kind of the last thing that's required, or the last thing that I do, is the power supplies, the earths, the 5 volt, and the sensor grounds. Really pretty simple, nice clean earths is, is really, really important. I've had my loom off and I've actually been across testing it on the vehicle. So normally I'd put the earths at the back of the engine, on the factory spot. But this vehicle is kind of a bit tight. So there's actually another couple of really nice mount earthing points right at the front here on each side of the cylinder head. Factory on one UZ, they're on the back of the cylinder heads there. And there, yes, I did just swap to a VVTi. There. And these holes are the earth holes. And as I said, this is really close to the firewall, so onto the front of the cylinder heads makes a lot more sense. In these earths here, another little tip that I've done is uh, there's two earths running into the ECU. Two battery grounds, 10 and, 10 and 11, A10 and 11. And I make sure that they're on different sides of the cylinder head. For the 5 volt, so you can join the 5 volt however you want. I normally put like this little tab sticking out, which I will heat shrink over. And that one goes to, we get the, the, old, the old instructions, um, A9. So A9, and that supplies, like if you're running a map sensor, um, the oil pressure and uh, fuel pressure sensors, the TPS, all out of that one. I've also used it out to go out to my twiddly knob. And then we have the sensor grounds. Now sensor grounds are in the B plug. 14, 15 and 16 on the B plug. This is for the 2500. So if you're running different model ECU, it might be in a different spot, of course. And they are all joined. If you just if you grab your multimeter and pop it in the ECU on those pins, they are all joined. So this one has got my shield. It's got my two gearbox sensor uh, earths. And it's got the ones that go out for, again, the twiddly knob and for the can. And then I've got all my sensors, water temp, and my pressure sensors, and my gearbox um, sensor are all in that one. The, uh, so that's the gearbox temperature are all in that little bit. The last ones are the power supplies to the ECU. Now, it's got... Um, a 12 volt on B11. Sure, that's a B. Yes, B11. It's got a feedback on this particular one. If you look at the diagrams, it's important just to check your diagrams. There's an ignition input, 12 volt ignition input there. There's actually this ECU injector input here as well. Different ECUs will have different power supplies, but from a relay, good clean power supply. The same for the injectors and the coils. On this one, each has got a separate relay. And I've actually split the engine to be left hand and right hand. So there's two fuses for the injectors and two fuses for the coils. If you're buying this, if you're a little bit inexperienced, buy the relay block, fuse blocks that Haltech make up. So simple, so easy. It'll save you lots and lots of time, okay? If you want to make it like me, probably once you're more experienced and understand the diagrams, that's the way to do it. Especially on this case, I'm running a start relay as well. I've incorporated a fan relay. The fuel pump relays are in the boot, so it's not quite as normal as I might like. Uh, but again, it's custom for this vehicle. Right, my next thing to do now is I'm going to go through and test everything. Check the injectors power up and cores power up and ECUs configured. And I'm doing that before I plug in my injectors and my coils or put any load on the ECU. I'm basically going to power up the ECU, put the program in it, so I don't cause issues if things file because they're in different places. And go through and check it, and it's getting fitted to the vehicle. I hope that's been helpful on giving you some ideas on how to wire it. 
course, this information does apply to any ECU, regardless of, of make and model. Read instructions, understand instructions, do your planning, and then do your wiring. So I hope that's been helpful. Talk to you soon. Catch you later.